Well, well. Color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? Hello, guys. Uh, we are back at it with Enslave 8 uh, leader ability. And yeah, you didn't miss here. It's uh, actually Enslave that allows you to steal an 8 point enemy unit. 8. That's all you need. How do you achieve that? You play tactics. Uh, enslave ability raises value by 1. So, since we are playing Enslave 8, means that we need to raise the Seize ability by 5. Meaning that we need to play quite a few tactics. Uh, 20 of them are in the game. There are more, but uh, the provisions are kind of high. So, we are playing double Battle Prep, double Joust, this is 4. We are playing double uh, Diplo and double Coated Weapon, this is 5. You can play Enslave 5, this is a normal deck that was popular people were playing in slave 6 as well so remedy assassination and now we go to the dreamland of enslave 7 with double amnesty surrender treason but 7 7 was playable before why would you stop yourself at it now there is enslave 8 available thanks to surrender buff we can look at uh, tactic uh, and uh, make it in can you you cannot pick both right so a new guardian uh, tactics uh, exhausted next one is nine and you you need to play a unit we have this when and elite in, in a five slot we could have played uh, a coup instead but first of all our only target is a spy and second of all <clears throat> cool with uh, yeah with this deck kind of sucks but yeah we are playing 20 tactics but tactics are not units so you see this number you need at least 25 cards in the deck why would you limit yourself don't think out think outside of the box 25 is the minimum you can play 33 you know there were like 40 card decks in the beta people were playing I I think I also have an upload with Enslave 7 on YouTube somewhere. It was bad deck, but it, it's fun to, to try it out occasionally. So yeah, tactics, you have creates, you have uh, damage, you have more damage, you have surrender, that row punishes now, if anyone is running that uh, Vanadine deck, or like a nature's gift more realistically with uh, spawning treants. If people are playing row stacking relics, you get to treason them, they never care about uh, adjacent units, they slam relics uh, one to another because uh, that's how they create pockets for Ginkians, so you have surrender for row punishing. You have leader that steals something like uh, a piggy, a witch apprentice. But yeah, that's the dream. Don't expect anything from this deck. Uh, the game I will showcase is most likely gonna get uh, as a loss. But uh, yeah, and slave eight. I also seen inference to try it out already. And I picked up the idea of including uh, Rico Varanovices and Mage Assassins there. I haven't really uh, addressed Enslave 7 for the 5-6 months at least. Uh, so yeah, I was bu building it as a new deck. I also decided to include double Tanet Turncoat. Just because it's in, it's a new card, look at this uh, animation going boop, uh, chains flying all around. So yeah. We're playing Surrender as a new card and Double Tanet Turncoat. You, get, you give enemy unit spine, you can actually damage it uh, since the uh, this is an engine with a cooldown. And we have like double emissary as well, providing you with uh, with the targets if necessary. And yeah, <laughs> you have Venendal Elite. You can play this Venendal Elite for how many? For 13 points, if that's the only unit you have in your hand. Sadly, this is a magnet for enemy stall removal. So yeah, let's move to the game now. Ho uh, hopefully it will be close. 
Uh, realistically, I don't see it ever being close, but on the patch day is the closest and Slave 8 will come to a win when everyone is experimenting. And yeah, if you enjoy the content, drop the follow, like the video and uh, check me out on Twitch where I'm streaming almost daily. See ya at the game. Cheers. Okay, so we're playing and Slave 8. We definitely need an opponent that plays... Uh, an 8 point engine that is uh, quite broken and will work for us as well but yeah now you can uh, you can see this 8 point unit let's go draw a card and place a card at the top of your deck so mage assassin good remedy is that we are up against jackpot so amnesty hopefully works and we are on the red coin so we are not losing our card elder bear is a good finisher for this deck because you know there is only so many only so many good points you can play Also, yeah, camera angle fixed now. Hmm, and I think we we actually clock with this. So yeah, tactics, well, you might be surprised by the number of the cards, but if you watch the guide, you won't. <coughs> no engines allowed. Those we don't want to steal, we need to steal something in round 3. How do we get to round 3? I have not the slightest clue. Bribery, uh, Imperial Diplomacies are pretty bad against this faction. Okay, opponent doesn't doesn't uh, take long to play an 8 for us, but don't we, do we want that? No, not at all. Are we taking our 8 point play out? Don't think so profit five okay so this is the first time i'm seeing the card confession extractor as expected some screaming and yeah we've seen the shadow on the background can it can it be tactics would have been nice yeah we don't get to that blow badly Opponent is not turning the ship out, we stopped his uh, tax collectors from going off. Okay, he's moving in the right direction now. Hmm, I suppose we'll tempo with the mage assassin here. Still in our surrender value. Do not uh, really recommend uh, Mage Assassin to do that next time, otherwise he will be out of the deck. Damage an enemy unit by 2. Heal, boost. Uh, this goes out of the removal, ra uh, not removal, amnesty ra range set there. <coughs> It might be removed, but uh, 
Will it really? Do you really want to deal with it? Wait, do you? Actually does answer it, the madman. What's our reach? Five. Imagine this made Amnesty Wars, but Amnesty was only a six point play anyway. I doubt we can pass. I doubt we can allow ourselves to pass. But opponent must be spooked. Okay. Actually, bleeding Gillard out. And Professor. There is only like six golds left. I suppose that would be it. Sadly. Mm -hmm. Those are not the greatest tactics. This though is amazing. Cancer to answers Roland immediately. We can steal a uh, spy or poison. Oh, did we play both? Uh, yeah, Diplos. Otherwise, we could have rolled the uh, bribery poison from uh, diplomacy. Ah, look at this opponent. We actually oh, oh we drew the most broken card. But yeah, most likely I needed to like play remedy for a unit. Good, good, good. I mean we're getting it back, so So his a uh, leader that gives him only 9 coins in passive ability versus our 16 point uncontested leader. I kinda get a feeling that we are losing, especially since uh, this Venendal elite is uh, big, but it's also vulnerable to poisons and we don't have a purify. What are we searching? <coughs> Trees and bribery, I guess. Uh, do we even have? Yeah, we do have a unit. But yeah, look at this. Bam! 11 for 5? Never seen in Gwen before. <laughs> ah, we're getting... It gets poisoned so fast. No, I told you you are not getting... You are not getting your tax collectors off. Okay, ship from hand. We were waiting for it before, but we'll take it. No ship for you anymore. But yeah, it's so it's so funny that Enslave is uh, achievable at eight. Like while streaming, people are mentioning that oh, Enslave safe is, uh, seven is not possible. Yeah, just put more cards into your deck, and everything is possible. Don't stop uh, dreaming. That's the mo the most dangerous part in Gwent. If you if you just not strive for happiness. Oh, not tributing it. Beautiful. Your humble 
Since he is not killing 11, I think we are free to play Emissary now. We also play on the same row for insane surrender value. We keep assassination to potentially like uh, him playing uh, Jackal, and buffing it to like 10. So that uh, there is an option for us to steal, otherwise we might it might kind of backfire. Sadly those engines are doing nothing for us, so we have to limit ourselves with Emissary. Ah, beautiful, sure. So it's either hitting a 7 or a 6. The glorious war wants to destroy highest base power, ship is 3, so it works. Think you won. Think again. We'll play an insane engine. I kinda postponed it. But it would have been dead or stolen, so everything is fine. Also funny that uh, since we stole the Redanian, him stealing the turn code would have made it uh, usable on a uh, conspiracy condition. Conspiracy, maybe, maybe you don't even remember what conspiracy is. Trigger this ability if target has spine. Okay, answered, countered. No need to damage us like this with a spender, but he's out of uh, of the leader coin, so I wonder if there is really a spender. Maybe he goes for self poison. I don't know. Ah, easy snipe by the way, making our leader worse. We need him to play a 10. A 10 would be the preferred way. Oh. Actual 5 point rest on Venendal. I really play in Graydon as well, I would be sad. Uh, so a five, a six, but a six is risky. It's no damage, God. This enslaved seven and slave eight problem never solved itself. Opponents just tend to outplay ya. By not playing eight point odd. So yeah, we play Venendal first. <laughs> Look at this. Insane. Just insane leader ability, putting us three ahead. And this is not a dead card. But it's much closer than it uh, had any right to be, considering he played uh, literal Junior, uh, Sigi and Philippa. Don't play this deck, it was just a showcase for Ardal uh, and Slave 8 ability. Don't play this deck. Cheers.